Hello and welcome back guys. As you can see, we have a tuna fish can today and we have already exported the picture from uh, dimension, Arab dimension. So let's start with this um, mock-up today and before we get started, let me tell you um, for uh, the label of this can, you can visit our new channel or for any labels uh, for new labels, uh, if you have any sort of work related to the labels or you want to learn how to make the labels, you can check out our new channel. The link is in the description. Also, if you want to download the premium quality mockup of this tuna fish can or any other mockups we have done so far in our channel, then join our Patreon family. And now let's get started. First, as we see, uh, we will take the paint tool and we will f uh, press Control plus and zoom in. And then, after you have zoomed in, just select the parts properly. Scroll down and then select the lower part. As you can see. So, the first of all, Now, we will decrease the opacity of this shape. Then take an anchor point tool and make the curves prominent and more like the curves. Okay, here you can just fa I'm just fast forwarding this step. You can slow it down if you want because we have already done this so many times. We know you will be able to handle it. Select the curves very minutely. So once you are done, as you can see, I have selected all the parts. And once you are done, uh, you will go to the level part. For that, you will take the ping tool and we will create a box like shape a square shape around the can and it will be a little extended so that it gets the rounded effect now we will decrease the opacity again again add anchor point tool and make the curves properly adjust the curves you have to follow the visual guide properly in this tutorial so as you can see i have taken the uh, a little extended part on the side so how can you decrease it we'll show it now watch very carefully Again, we have selected the level part. Now, we will name this le as levels. Then, name the shape of the can as the total can or just can. The entire can, whatever suits you. Then, again, we will place control and click the little square box on that layer. And then we'll click uh, masking option. So as you can see, the uh, extra part 
to erase that press control then select the can then as you can see the selected part is uh, showing us on the screen then I will go to select and press inverse so as you press inverse then again press the masking part on the la uh, layer of the level and then change the color to black and then wipe it so as you know black removes the layers and uh, extra parts and uh, white brings it back we have also done this in our previous videos you can check them out too now we will group them and name them as object id Now we will take a rectangle tool. Now we will we will convert it to smart object. The square shape we have taken, the rectangle rather. And then we will uh, switch off the layer of object ID. And then press Control T and right click on the can. And then press Wrap. Now as you have clicked on wrap, then we will go to the urge object and, and bring it downwards because the tab is arced in the bottom line. I can't. In sudden see the cover. Right. The then we'll make the required adjustments according to the shape of your can. Now once you are done, we save the right button up there and then we'll increase the opacity. Then, as you can see, we'll get the shape of the ma uh, can from that masking part. So once you are done with it, the if you click um, on the masking part, the smart object is wrapped around the can. So once you are done with the smart object, we will move on to the label. And we have already saved the picture and made the picture we needed so now once you are done selecting the picture you can save it you can just drag and drop or copy and paste whatever suits you paste. after you have pasted the picture then click on save once you click on the save button, your picture will be updated automatically around the can. Then again press on the mask. Then go to the can layer. Then press on it and pressing Ctrl J you will have a copy of it. And so likewise make two more copies. This is for the FX part. The lighting, shadows and all that. So. Once you are done making three copies of it, name them as light, mid tone, and shadow accordingly. Now switch off first two layers and for the light make it linear burn. Then for the mid tone, linear dodge add. But here we need to adjust the level sometimes, then go, uh, go to new files and adjustments. And adjust the lighting a little bit according to the preference or how you want to give the effect depending on your preferences you can adjust the levels or you can follow my suggestions as you can see on the screen then okay then for the shadow for the light layer will grow for the screen then again as you see, it's very whitened. We will adjust the levels in the similar process. So now we are done. Now these three parts. Now if you want to color the bottom part of it. You can go to object ID. And um, press control. Alt and select the level part. 
so as you can see the uh, you can see the that part only except for the level part okay from there you can select any solid color if you want to select it i will prefer this color then again we'll click on mask then press control g and then again make two copy two more copies of it in similar ways make uh, name them light midtone and shadow and then for the shadow linear burn the light will be screen and the midtone will be linear does that and then adjust the levels for the effects according to your preferences follow this part as you wish the bad decision this part is exactly similar to the previous part of how we did the effects for the can the level of the can similarly we'll do the upper and the bottom part hey once you are done with all of them all of them you can just switch on and switch off the layers and check it then for the upper part and the lower part of the can group them together and name them for the level part group them and name them as fx level and then you can just name the layers according to your preferences so that you can understand and distinguish the different layers properly once you are done just color the layers differently so that you can understand easily and for the background just take a solid color layer then take the change the background for that name that as bg color for the last layer so now we have done for the tuna fish can mock up if you have liked what you what you have seen please subscribe to our channel and join our patreon family for the access to all the mockups we have done and for the levels you can check out our new channel thank you so much